Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have unironically, I know sometimes you throw in the huge or like massive in the titles, but there's actually two really big things that are coming out as of now for the Xbox. Now we do cover up the Xbox on the channel, though we do kind of skew a little bit more on the PlayStation side, but sometimes the news is so big and kind of exciting that I need to go and talk about it. And this is a double whammy, number one, both in terms of restocking news, but as well also in terms of upcoming actual Xbox news in terms of games and actual things coming on out so cool video to go talk about and a fun video to go talk about so obviously let's go and talk about it as well if any of you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console controller twitter and twitch stream as well linked down below if you just want to hang out and chill and also the twitter giveaway down below make sure you guys enter in with that we have the weeble and coinbase so you want to sign up get a bunch of free affiliate money and xboxes as we'll be probably talking about throughout this video are also perpetually up now it seems like up in stock on Best Buy. We'll have the proper link down below in case you just want to check your local stores, pick one on up, because you've actually been seeing loads of folks still getting it in the first place. So, first and foremost, I want to talk about the non-restock news. We'll have restock in a second, but when it comes to this, this is huge. Huge news to me, even huger than my crazy hair. At some point, I need to go get a haircut on. But, for this, we finally have new games for the Xbox. Now, let's talk about this, because at least for someone like me, this is some huge news. We are finally and officially having confirmation that there is going to be a brand new, and these are rarities. Like, I'm sure you guys understand, PlayStations and PlayStation Directs or State of Plays and all of those, they, I feel like they happen at least every few weeks, every few months, like, depending on, like, the, like, you know, the year. Like, usually around this time is a little bit on the quarter side for games and gaming news. But as of now, Xbox... So all of Xbox, and also obviously for PC games too, you can play on both on both you know both sides. And Bethesda, which we're probably expecting even more big news too as well for Starfield, because we've been seeing leaks coming out for that as well. And it should be coming out this year, so we might finally see some gameplay. Is now officially announcing their showcase for June twelfth. Mainly because, as you guys know, E3, the really big conference and gaming conference out there, is actually, well, not doing too good. It doesn't seem like a lot of big game companies want to go do anything with that. E3 is technically canceled. So the fact is, as of right now, we do have confirmation that Xbox and Bethesda will be hosting their own big brand event as of June 12th. This goes, and we also have other news to cover, but this is kind of a big one for me. Xbox Game Studios and Bethesda Softworks will hold their annual gaming showcase, and as you guys know, they did do one as of last year. Although last year's, I'll be honest, I'm like a little bit of a I don't want to sound like a hater. I'm a very big fan of Microsoft and all of that. Loved Forza, at least. You know, Halo was... Um, we'll, we'll see how the next update goes. But when it comes to the Xbox itself, you can play all these games on PC. I'm a big PC guy. Love it. So the one big issue is that last time there was a conference, there really wasn't that much more new stuff. There was a little bit of Halo, a little bit of Forza, like I mentioned. But there also was nothing else. Just a lot of games on Game Pass and stuff like that. Maybe a little Age of Empires. So as of right now, we have literally zero. I'm not exaggerating. We have zero games on the horizon for Xbox. Unless we have a few for PlayStation, for Spoken, God of War, etc., etc. Right now, there is zero. Now, I'm sure these big game companies have something in the works, obviously. But the one bigger issue is that, like I said, there is nothing. Like, we don't know if there's going to be a new Gears game. We do about we know about Fable, I guess, although we haven't had any big updates. Like, for throughout the rest of this year, there is nothing confirmed from Xbox throughout the next, let's say, 13 months. So this is going to be big because besides Starfield, as I covered before, that's like the only big thing. But right now, there is no gaming, there is no gameplay, there is nothing for all these things. We're just in a really big question mark when it comes to Xbox. So with this... We are hoping to finally see some stuff to utilize the Xbox Series X, and people have had a chance to play the games, as well as Game Pass, PC Game Pass, but as well just kind of other games to flesh out the rest of the year. Halo is cool, but it kind of flopped, and they do have another update coming soon, which may be announced, or, you know, the future roadmap of it. But like I said, the only big thing that should be coming out this year is Starfield. And right now, it's basically been barren in terms of news, updates, etc. Although, with it being Bethesda, we also might see some other stuff, such as more, like, hopefully not another Skyrim, but as well, maybe Elder Scrolls 6, and other various things tied on in various games, Far Cry, uh, not Far Cry, uh, Fallout, or even other types of games too. Like, there's potential, there's a lot of potentials with it, and this is why I hope this will be a huge event. So this is all confirmed for June 12th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 12, you know, 1 p.m. EST, and Microsoft officially announced as of today, and the live stream show promises to feature amazing titles coming for the Xbox Game Studios, Bethesda, and our partners around the world, they said in an official statement. 
This will be covering all the games for Xbox and PC platforms, including releases for Game Pass and Xbox and PC, obviously, too. And it'll be up on all the usual social medias as well in the next few months. Viewers should at least expect two Bethesda games to show up during that event. Bethesda's game studio, Starfield, which once again has been on record multiple times, should be coming out this year. And Arcane Studios, Redfall. Although, once again, we've been hearing potential lot of, lot of rumors of delays. And that's why I'm saying we don't know if it's 100% this year. And same with gameplay. We have not seen gameplay on both Starfield and Redfall, although the trailers seem cool, that's what we want to see, and I think you guys would agree. Like, it's cool to have a game, say, Cyberpunk, but until you see actual proper working gameplay, and you see dates, especially with the years of all these delays these past few years, you gotta be a little bit skeptical. Now, I'm kind of harping on them a little bit. I'm excited for this, and I can't wait to see this, and I think this is actually a pretty big announcement either way. So, in this one, too, there are many announced games, but still a lot of undated games. That's kind of what I'm saying. We don't have anything to look forward to without the rest of the year. We don't have specific dates we want those. Some other ones that are also coming over here too as well for Obsidians. We have like, you know, Rares Everwild, Avalanche Studios Contraband, Playground Games Fable, as we mentioned before, Perfect Dark Remake 2 as well, so, uh, basically Swana's Saga Hellblade 2, which we actually did see, I think, some, I think, gameplay on that one, so I'll stand corrected on that one. Syndicate State of Decay 3, which looked kind of good, and Outer Worlds 2. So, like, we have a little bit of stuff, but like I said, there's like nothing for us to look forward to. We don't have dates, we don't have times, we don't have a lot of gameplay for all these ones, so hopefully Hopefully Xbox will remedy this up and make us excited because I'm excited for it. I think it's big news. Just I'm a little bit apprehensive until I see gameplay and stuff. But Xbox usually has had pretty good conferences, so we'll be on the lookout for that for June. And now in terms of really big restocking news as well, which is on the same vein of the Xbox. This one's big too. Xbox Series X bundles have been in stock on the normal proper Microsoft website. Although I still keep on recommending more on the Best Buy side. If you guys want to, link down below. You guys can literally now finally go and get your Xbox Series X bundles without bundles. This is huge. So like you guys may not think so, but basically we've had Microsoft have a lot of good chances to go get their stock. We've had people buying it from directly from Microsoft. This is like the equivalent of a PlayStation Direct selling you a PlayStation console. But before, in these past few weeks, they have been bundled. Like you had to force yourself to get a bundle. So it was like Xbox, yeah, you also had to get a controller. You also had to get like a game. So you'd have to spend like, you know, maybe like 600 bucks after tax. Now with this new update from Microsoft, which is why it's also really big news in terms of restocking, you can now individually buy itself normal Xbox Series X console with no bundles needed on the official Microsoft Store. Now, you guys may not think this is a big deal, I do keep on pushing and pressuring. Like, you could probably just go use Honest to God Best Buy. <laughs> like, just go, go on Best Buy itself. You're probably chilling. But when it comes to this... Man, this is huge. Like, this is, like like I said, the equivalent of, like, PlayStation going and selling bundles at first and foremost, and then just completely saying, whatever, you don't need a bundle, just go buy the console. This is huge. It's all optional. So if you guys look at the very top of the previous, like I said, it, you used to have to make a bundle no matter what. And as we've been seeing Targets and Best Buys and all these other various locations selling stock normally, it kind of makes sense. And they're just like, yeah, whatever, just at this point, whatever. Uh, but yeah, basically, you, they said, like, make your selection from the four steps down below to his well whenever you select an item you'll be advanced the next step and the one big thing is choose your console required duh you want to get your xbox xbox game pass three month membership optional choose your controller optional protect your device with microsoft complete optional so at this point as of right now in terms of like even bigger news too in terms of like events in terms of new games in terms of everything else coming hopefully soon we also now once again have the xbox restocks pretty much just streamlining on it now i do keep on saying because even say for best buy as we keep mentioning the links in the videos and such they are still on occasion selling out like it's not like a 100 percent always in stock it's like a nice 90 though at this point like you say like for walmart they were in stock for a lot of days say for amazon in stock for a lot of days and they do eventually trickle out same with target like we've not been seeing as much walk-ins or same with best buy too some locations are out of stock but as well as of right now with my Microsoft selling them directly on the website itself. That's huge, great news for the normal supply, normalizing the Xbox stock supply. Like I said, this is at like 90% completion. PlayStation 5 still has a little bit to go in terms of like people kind of just, you know, meeting the de demand and supply. But for Microsoft themselves selling this and putting it together, 
great news to see for restocks and just the normalization of the console itself and as well with the brand new showcase coming out in this very near future that i think a lot of people will be even more hyped up for their xbox purchases because there's going to be games and gameplay and things to be excited about and my own self too as well as a pc gamer for me to check out on xbox game pass so all around kind of good news i like seeing this type of news i like making these types of videos so as a reminder the xboxes are linked down below for best buy as well if you just want to subscribe with the notifications on for gaming news and all that would love to have you guys here as well for the ps5 giveaway going on up on twitter too as well we have the twitch streamers want to hang out the amazon link is want to go and chill the weeble and coins because want that free money and overall i have a lot more videos out throughout today so be on the lookout for my homies